a movie titled The Layover, we are introduced to Kate, an English teacher who is instructing a class when she notices a student secretly reading a comic book. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, come on, let's finish class strong. Kate approaches the student and requests he read the book aloud to the class when the student begins to read. Kate becomes interested in the comics. However, the principal overhears this and summons Kate to his office, subtly suggesting she should quit her teaching position. Are you firing me? What? I'm sorry. On another note, we see Megan, a sales representative trying to promote beauty products at her employer, but failing to sell them. Frustrated, Megan leaves the company in a fit. She discovers her car has been towed for parking illegally. Kate returns from school and shares her day's disappointments with Megan, including the failed sale and her car being impounded. Kate also reveals that the principal has requested her resignation from her teaching role. Sweet. The next day, Megan arranges a late night pickup for Kate. Today? No, our flight's in three hours. And suggests they discuss their situation the following morning. However, Megan realizes the line at the airport is incredibly long, and there's a risk Kate's flight will be missed. Megan, in the meantime, begins to flirt with a man working at the airport. He allows them to board without waiting in line. Oh my god, you are the sweetest thing. And as a result, both Megan and Kate are on the plane, occupying seats. Kate chooses the window seat, while Megan sits in the seat next to her. Kate is scared of heights, so she takes an anxiety pill. A while later, a man boards the plane and sits between them. This man, who is a firefighter, captures the attention of both Megan and Kate, who are very fond of him. Single ladies in the house. They start flirting with him during the flight. However, Kate, who has taken too many pills, faints. Now they're redirecting us to land in St. Louis. The pilot informs everyone that due to a storm in Florida, the flight will have to land in St. Louis. After landing, they book a room at a hotel named Shelter in St. Louis until their next flight. Later, the hotel's reception tells Megan that her bag has been lost at the airport. Kate and Megan decide to take the elevator to their room, and there, they meet Ryan. Megan mentions that her friend is getting married. Ryan tells her that there are still a few days left until the wedding. Ryan then invites them to go out for drinks with him later that evening. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a date. <laughs> Megan realizes she has lost her bag and asks Kate if she can wear her dress for the wedding. Kate refuses to lend her the dress. Meanwhile, Kate decides to meet Ryan alone at night. Ryan is surprised to see Megan, who is wearing a traditional Indian dress. When they hear the news that the storm has gotten worse, Ryan becomes upset. To lift his spirits, Megan and Kate decide to have a dance competition for Ryan. Megan becomes incredibly enthusiastic while dancing, and in the midst of her excitement, her dress slips down, causing her to feel extremely embarrassed. This incident leads to all three of them returning to the hotel. Upon their return, Megan begins to argue with Ryan, and the following day, they all decide to go on a hot air balloon ride. However, Kate, who is afraid of heights, suggests that they don't need to go on the hot air balloon. Megan, however, insists that it doesn't matter and that they should all go. Kate reluctantly agrees. Kate is particularly anxious about the hot air balloon ride, and as they ascend to 500 feet, she becomes even more terrified. Ryan tries to reassure her, but Megan decides to light a champagne bottle, which accidentally hits the remaining eye of the hot air balloon's pilot, injuring him. Oh God, he's crying blood! Uh, I don't think it's too serious. This incident forces them to land the hot air balloon at a children's party. Afterward, they all head back to the hotel. The next day, they visit a cafe where they discover that Ryan is going on a date. Curious, they follow him and find out he's going to a wedding. Megan suggests that Kate should join them, to which Ryan agrees. On their way, they stop to refill the hot air balloon's fuel, and Kate decides to use a gas station bathroom. The bathroom is in a terrible condition, but Kate uses it anyway. As she exits, she accidentally locks herself inside. Meg, is that you? Somehow Kate manages to escape through a window, but in the process, she ends up dirty. Ryan notices her and asks what happened. Kate informs everyone that she was locked inside the restroom. Following this, Kate showers, and the group heads to the wedding venue. On the journey, Kate feigns injury, and Ryan decides to give her a back massage. Witnessing this, Megan becomes furious, seeking revenge. Megan fills a wine bottle with sleeping pills, intending to trap Kate by offering her a drink. However, Kate declines, snatches the bottle from Megan's grasp, and consumes the entire bottle. Megan then accuses Craig of driving too long, suggesting exhaustion as a reason for her offering to drive. Megan and Kate fall asleep. Craig eventually passes out, causing the car to crash. Faced with this incident,
Kate decides to spend the night at a motel. It's there that Kate discovers the sleeping pills in the wine bottle. Kate later books a private room at the hotel. During a break the next morning, Megan confesses to Kate about an intimate encounter with Ryan. Kate becomes upset upon realizing that Megan had a similar experience with Ryan. This revelation prompts a heated argument between Kate and Megan. Amidst their dispute, a cupboard collapses on both, leading the hotel owner to call the police. Craig steps in and defends Ryan, sharing details of his whereabouts on Google+. He notices that Ryan is the person getting married and announces this shocking news to the gathered women, who are horrified and demand that he be released to prevent the wedding and bail him out of the financial burden of the damaged lobby. They then head to the hotel in Fort Lauderdale where the wedding is scheduled. Upon arrival, they realize it's too late to intervene, so they apprehend Ryan. In response, Ryan breaks free and chases them. They capture him and confess that he took unfair advantage of them. It had nothing to do with me. However, Ryan denies the accusations, claiming that both had a mutual attraction from the start. He reveals that he has been in a relationship with one of them since college and pleads with them not to sabotage his marital life. Ryan, what are you doing? Eventually, Ryan's wife arrives, and they all notice her stern demeanor, indicating her constant control over him. This leads Megan and Kate to ponder if there could be a better outcome for Ryan, considering the potential regrets one might face after marriage. On their way back to the airport, they find out their flight has been delayed to four hours. Megan decides to stop by Craig's shop to see him. There, she and Craig chat for a bit. Upon her return to the airport, I don't think we can live together anymore. Megan tells Kate that maybe they shouldn't live together anymore, but she's open to the idea of staying in touch and possibly reconnecting. Kate agrees, and she then leaves for school. As for Megan, she begins a new relationship with Craig. The movie ends here.